Somewhere down the middle, I got obsessed with searing sheep. And now I know how it feels to cut another living being's ball sacks off. Th the sheep didn't have balls. I actually, no, I, I didn't cut its balls off. I gave him a circumcision. Popularity means money, and money means being able to buy a boat. So far, I have about 8,000 grambities. Meaning I need another 8,000 grambities to make this work. Behold, Mr. Blow Dry. You can't read what it says, but it says Mr. Blow Dry. Mr. Blow Dry? M Mr. Blow Dry? Pretend my clothes aren't wet. This is a game where you constantly have to create new characters to ensure that you stay relevant with the updates. But don't worry, it's on its way. You just, just gotta wait. See, making money in this game, it's all about passive buildup and not dying all the time. If I'm able to invite myself to my old bank, I'm able to transfer items across files, except I don't really know if I'm able to do that. You can't be fully certain. What's for certain is I don't think you lose any money if you combat. Log. No, no, trust me, weeb players do it all the time. And they seem financially stable. They say, oh, I gotta keep my money to buy my figurines. Oh, I love figurines. To tell you what, weeb say, don't hurt me for it. McCullough, the Walmart. Ah, oh, he's a defense guy. The best stat for a deckhand is speed. If you maximize them, they'll maximize their speed. Now, gunpowder barrels, they explode when you attack them, which will sink your boat fairly quickly. So if you're a clever fellow like me, you just simply meditate and just don't think that they'll explode. I mean, they won't really explode much if you don't think they'll explode. And plus, nobody's really gonna attack you if you keep your fame low unless you're a weeb. Okay, weeb players are the scourge of this game. You stay away from weeb players. You st you stay away from those weeb players. Weeb players are like every minority stereotype and religious stereotype put into one. Weeb players are filth and should not be trusted nor touched dead. They done stole me explosive bells. Ah! And I'm looking to start this off a little bit of early. All right, I, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Not sure I haven't played this game in a while. I forgot about the cargo trade. I've reached maximum level though. Oh man, that means people feel more comfortable attacking me. Yeah, they obviously have some cargo quests. So you, you get more comfortable with trading cargo. I've been to a total of 99 speed and the, the, the other crap. Now, how do I sink my other boat so I can get another boat to make it super cheap and accessible? Got it. Yes, yes, I know you're shiny. I know, yes, I know you're feeling spark. Oh, yeah, look, he's feeling sparkly. <gasps> Are you shooting fireworks? You're shooting fireworks. Ah, who's a little cute? Who's a, who's, who's a cute first time player? Oh, is it you? Ah, oh, so adorable. Oh, the beast is dangerous. <gasps> He is off to the hunt. So if I just slut down this camp marker and I proceed to kill myself, <laughs> that means in about two minutes, my thingamabob is going to despawn. And that's it. I've reached rock bottom. B bottom. Bottom. Not bottom. What the fuck's a bottom? I use the weapons to be able to use the bow for bosses. Remember to keep 50 on weapons to use the bow for bosses during story mode. Now see, I haven't had my awakening yet. If I haven't had my awakening, if the game counts you as a mage and you have kind of a conjurer-esque build, that means the game considers you a mage. When you awaken, and you, the game considers you a mage, all the points you put into weapons is going to be obsolete, I think. I don't know. I don't think mages could use weapons. No, mages can't use weapons. It's a very weird and stupid system, but that's why people aren't playing this game until the update's released. And voila, I have myself my Mr. Blow Dry. It's very good, very nice. Looking to save money here. I'm feeling a bit weebish. So let's turn this boat around and go straight towards, and go straight up north towards Red Wake. I got to go get Oh, yeah. With this catch, I've significantly increased my speed in exchange for my ability to attack. But once I get the brig, I'll be able to do everything. I mean, there is a reason why it such has such a high price on its head. This is going to be extremely dangerous, and somewhere along the journey, a weeb is going to come along and say, you know what? Say, you know what? I'm a bit tired of recommending my city animes to people who aren't interested. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make somebody else's day worse. God damn it, if they have an automatic drop off, they should have an automatic load in. Right, I've spent about a thousand grammaries on boxes. If I'm able to do this a little bit more, I'm able to save up as much money as I can. But of course, even if I were to spend all of my money on cargo crates, that would work successfully. That would get multiplied at Ravenna. I still wouldn't have enough to get a goddamn brig. So what do I do next? It's quite simple. You just sell things you don't need to traders. Some weeb's gonna come along and kill you. Doesn't have to be a weeb. It could also be a cross-dresser. You didn't make the same old crappy joke. Oh, if I don't have a girlfriend, I could just be the girlfriend. And then they snip their willy off and feel sad for the rest of their life. It goes against my country's will of politics, but I'm an outlier and should not be counted. Because if you come across a little diving point, you feel like, yeah, that'd be worth it. It's not worth it. Now, common logic in trading, the further away the settlement is to the other settlement, the more money you're gonna make. And me, looking for a true profit, I'm gonna head straight towards the most dangerous place in the game. It's where the pro players are forced to spawn instead of uninhabited islands, all right? Pros should be spawning in uninhabited islands. That's where they belong. Except for weebs, though. They belong in the distant void of space, right? So right here is Rasna. Was it Ravenna? Was it Ron Ronald? Middle income area. Oops, never mind. Don't, don't go to the guy. Just go to this guy about the ship. Unload the ship. Unload the ship. And while the ship's getting unloaded, I'm gonna take a piss. And while I'm taking a piss, I'm gonna sit on this barrel. Apparently, if you ride buggy enough, this is going to happen. This is a player in the dark sea. A dark sea player. At the moment, I believe he's stopped on an island. Oh, he's having a bad time. Oh, he's not having a good time out in the sea. And that's the very last of my cargo. That's it. 10,000 grand buddies. That is not what I want. Now, in Ravenna, the shipwrights have a lot more bank because a lot of people are buying from them because there are a lot of people in this place because they're forced to spawn there, which is stupid. Just press multiple and sell crap you don't need. You won't get any more money or any less money depending on what exactly you sell. Oh, how did this go up to 1,000? Damn. Think of it as the adventure business, like Skyrim. The more you play, the more you gain. You're not looking to get rich. You're looking to make money. And enough money to, to buy a, a brig so you can get even more money. But you you shouldn't get as too much money because you get, just got to be called Mr. Moneybags. And everybody's got to be picking on you because you're so rich. There's a lot of unique items and materials you can sell like tiger sharks, sapphires, morensis. All for sale for the likes of you. I'm a sorcerer. I'm the sorcerer, the arcaneodyssey.com. I'm arc. I'm ar I'm a wizard man. See all these items, these these amulets. Yeah, you don't really need them much. You can just sell them, and they're worth a crap ton. All these sail pennants you don't need. Yeah, you can sell them too. They're pretty freaking expensive. Once they build up. Yep, that's right. Everything's got to go, even the things I kind of do need, but mainly I don't really need them because it's it's. It's what I need that I need. Even if I have one of the items in branch, it's gotta go. These people have a custom stock, a custom associated stock. If I'm able to sell at least every single item in my inventory, make as much money as I possibly could, I'll be able to get that boat. Oh, yes, even, even the blueprints, the, the blueprints, they, they all gotta go. Oh, yes, yes, good. I got I got gems and a sunken element. Should I really defile all of these rams for money? No, oh, of course I can. Do I really need these food items? Do I really need this shark dinner? Do I really need all these cursed mushrooms? Do I really need all- No, no, these are too cheap. 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 Oh, SpongeBob, me Bob, it does not matter whether it's food or not. I need it. I'm just so close towards selling all of me items. I am close to selling all of me precious booty. All I need is to get rid of this brown mushroom. And I did it. I did it. Look at that, SpongeBob. I did it. I got myself the precious boat that everyone was wanting. All this time, all of this build up just for a nice little boat. If you're a bit drunker, I might have buyed you. Just let me get some speed deckhands and we'll be rolling. Ah, you see that, Mr. Gibbs? An entire boat with nothing to put on it. As I sell all of it and probably also my bananas. Th that I may have sold. Uh, did I did I sell my banana? Don't tell me. Oh God damn it! Did I? I sold my edible bananas. Oh whatever. Limes work. And never, never. Either way, limes work. Nevertheless, 
I mean, they help prevent scurvy. Oh, me own boat. Finally. With just 20 grambities to go. Ah, I'm feeling nice and hard today.